Obviously, uh, congrats to Eddie and Clemson on a uh, phenomenal season. Um, they're a great team, uh, veteran leadership, um, a lot of players that accomplished a lot of things in their time at Clemson. Um, so congratulations, and obviously <laughs> three very difficult games against them uh, throughout the season, and tonight was no different. Um, really proud of our team, and, and you know, we, we, we said this going into the game, and, and we knew that uh, it was going to be a challenging game and we knew there were going to be some tough moments, and we had to weather those moments and stay together and keep plugging away. And as we just told the team, um, goals change games, and you never know. And here is Caitlin Zippe, um getting the game winner, right? The goal that changed the game was seven minutes left in the half, right? It didn't end the game, but obviously um, it, it really put us in a good spot going into halftime, so, so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take off on the TV. So happy for Zip. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, yeah, that, that, that's all I got. Happy, 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 happy to be um, happy to be advancing and happy to have an opportunity on Monday. Questions for the student athletes for well, um, I got that really didn't take long. Uh, Caitlin, when, when you guys when you guys scored the first goal, I mean that was probably one of the best goals we've seen probably all season in women's college soccer. Uh, like, um, what did that what did that do to you guys as far as momentum is concerned? Because it looked like that was the goal that really got you guys rolling. Yeah, I think just finishing off the half, getting that last like ten minutes, whatever time I have, I just want to like put my best effort for my team and whoever's next to me and I think that really gave us momentum to go into the second half and definitely get the second goal and finish up the game. Christina, um, Tim gave us a stat, you know, since 20, you guys are the first team since 2015 to not concede a goal in the college cup um, so far. Yeah, not them. <laughs> <laughs> um, what has the defense done so well just, you know, to get here, to be at this point? Honestly, it's just communication, trusting each other. I know that Lauren has my back, Gil has my back, the whole four, I can name them out for you, obviously. But um, honestly, the whole team, it takes the whole team. It has to go through everyone to get to me. So I think just trusting them and them trusting me that I'll be there when I need to be. And um, I think just overall, I'm so proud of them because this game can be a hard game sometimes. It doesn't always go our way. And so for them to kind of keep it on our terms a little bit when maybe it wasn't going that way always, um, just super proud of them. We're growing every single game. Um, I'm just so proud of them and how we first started this season and here we are now. Uh, Caitlin, I know, correct me if I'm wrong, but midway through the season you were kind of dealing with the injury a little bit yeah. and you came back, you know, you really saw your game picking up here and now, you know, scoring a goal on, you know, one of the biggest stages in mm -hmm. soccer. Just what's this process been like for you throughout the season, you know, battling with injury, coming back, you know, your senior season, you know, this moment now? Yeah. I mean, I couldn't do it without, like, my teammates. Like, they pushed me to be better every single day at practice, like, on the field. And I just want to put my, forth my best effort for them. And, yeah, there's injuries here and there, but I think just trusting the process and like focusing on the task at hand has helped me a lot in the future. We have a question from Zoom. You'll hear the voice. Uh, Melvin, go ahead uh, if you want to ask your question. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, congratulations, guys. Um, my question is for the uh, marketing grad student. Uh, Christina? Uh, oh, I was just like, who is that? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Oh, I know that voice. <laughs> Christina, can you tell me a little bit about when you knew that the um, defense was really gelling together? It's, you've had so many clean sheets this season, and you've had such a string of a medal. When did you know that you guys are really going to be able to play your best for an extend, extended period of time? Um, so, <laughs> I think maybe... After the first game, obviously, if there was a lot of improvement we needed to make. Um, <clears throat> we still started off very strong, but just kind of getting to know each other. We have some new faces within the team, so I think kind of having more time to play with each other and understanding each other's weaknesses and understanding each other's strengths, um, kind of um, dealing with that and building upon that every single week. So since 
we just trust each other and we love playing with each other. So every week is just a new week to build upon things. I'm just surprised you didn't ask you a marketing theory question. I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Kaylin, I saw after the game you went up and hugged your mom in the stands. What did you say to you? Uh, that she's so proud of me and that I've been working hard for that moment and just to keep going. Okay. Okay. So, Christina, uh, your distribution was excellent today. And particularly on the visit to the president, was that something you guys discussed before the game or? Um, well, thank you. Uh, I think it kind of is kind of what we saw. Uh, I always talk to Heather Gokress and Lauren Flynn next to me and see, maybe I see something, but they might see something that looks even bigger and looks like an even more open space. So we kind of just chat it up and sometimes it does get us in trouble timing wise, but I want to make sure that we're hitting it where we need to hit it and it's not going to get us in trouble. So I think kind of just trusting each other. If I roll it off to Lauren, she's going to hit it in a good spot. And if I just hit it um, one time, then it's in a good space so that we can go forward. It's not coming right back at us. We have time for a couple more. Obviously for both players, um, you guys were here last year, um, lost that close game. Um, how good does it feel to be able to get back on the winning side and get to the cup? I I've been there a couple times already, the championship, but how does it feel to be able to get back there again? Um, honestly, I'm just so proud of this team. Uh, we have, like I said, a lot of new faces, and to be able to just uh, come together as one and grow each week together, and like I said, probably in the first press conference, it's a grind this part of the season because everyone's tired. It can become, it just becomes doing the little things, right? Um, so I think. Overall, we're just so proud of each other and trying to celebrate um, in this little moment now, but obviously, no, we need to move on and think about it um, on Monday. Second round. Uh, it's for you, Caitlin. I was out in the field chatting with Heather right after the game about her amazing assist to you. It was just over the head. Were you expecting it? Like, you got a first touch finish on it, so clearly you were ready. Um, talk us through that moment and what you were thinking. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I thought I was off sides, and then I kind of <laughs> looked in front of me, and I was like, oh, maybe not. But it landed right in front of me, and then took a couple bounces, and then I was like, why not? Just take a rip. And ended up going in. So. Uh, I got time for a couple more. Um, yeah. So, Christina Caitlin, I mean, Florida State advancing to the advancing to the national championship basically is like is, is as regular now as Tom Brady going to the Super Bowl. Um, <laughs> What's what's the mental what's the mental preparation to be like knowing you guys have another game in a couple of days, and knowing whoever you face Stanford or BYU is going to be is going to be even probably more difficult than tonight. Um, I mean the preparation starts now, like Saturday, Sunday, eat, sleep, practice some, <laughs> but just mentally prepare our bodies for whoever we're playing, and just be us and keep playing how we've been playing, and I think we should be fine. We have one more from Zoom. Melvin, go ahead. All right, thank you. Uh, Caitlin, you, it seemed like you scored right after you came onto the pitch, like within the first couple of minutes. How tough is it to be so ready to um, play your best? Because you, as reserve, you can't afford to uh, ease into the game. You have to be ready right at the beginning. How tough is that for you? Um, I mean, what, my first goal is to just connect my first pass and just get dialed into the game and try to match everyone's energy and it helps a lot that all my teammates are behind me and supporting me so it makes it really easy to put my best foot forward to the game. All right well thank you to the student athletes you're welcome to go ahead congratulations. Thank you. Good to see you.